Walk around family. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at a 2024 Honda Civic Type R in Boost Blue Pearl. I love the exterior color on this guy. Actually, I love every exterior color the Type R comes into. Um, the first thing I want you guys just to really look at is just how much wider the Type R is than a normal Civic. Because this is based on the regular Civic hatchback. Just sprinkled some Type R goodies on there. And of course, you get the lightweight and the power. So on the front fascia here, first thing to notice, gloss black grill. Type R stamped in right into the grill. You do have a red uh, emblem on the H as well. A lot of openings on the top portion and the lower portion. Because you do have the 2 liter 4 cylinder that's turbocharged in the Type R. If you get a regular hatchback, you either get the 2 liter non-turbo or you get the 1.5 turbo. So exposed in the cooler, let in a lot more air. FK8, most owners complain how they brought their Type R to the track and it overheated and it needed better cooling. Honda went to the FL5 chassis. They tried to give you a wider opening, give you better cooling for when you bring it to the track. Now you do have some gloss black on the lower portion of the bumper as well. The grill or the mesh is flat black and you have some body color down below. I love how Honda scope everything together on this because the FK8 is very aggressive, but this FO5 is a smidge aggressive. Like if you look at this, it still is in your face, but not as much as the FK8, but it's not boring at the same time. I just like the blend of both that Honda did with this. Headlights are full LED, so high beam, low beam, daytime running lights and turn signals. There is no fog lights on the Type R at all. On the hood, they went with a heat, um, I guess, extractor instead of a hood scoop. Because I believe the FK8 have a scoop where this pushes the hot air out of the engine bay. So, as on to the cooling as well. So, Honda did a few things to make this thing track ready. But I could sit here and just stare at the car. It's just a very beautiful car to look at. Now... This one is optioned with the lighter uh, forged wheels. And I actually like the way how these lo wheels look than the OEM wheels. But I love the OEM wheels on this over the OEM FK8 wheels. So taking a look at the tires here. These are Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. So good tires, ready for the track. These are 265, 30, 19s. So the Type R are on 19s now, not the 20s. Because everyone complained that when they went to the track, it was better to have a smaller rim and not those 20s with those thin uh, tire walls. Coming along to the side, you just get overall the newer 11th generation Civic design. So the side mirrors are actually on the lower door instead of it being on the corner. And you do have LED turn signals integrated on the side mirror. Top portion is gloss black. Bottom portion is flat black. You do have the wider windshield, slimmer A-pillar. The windshield has been pulled back from the FK8 to give you better visibility and more headroom in the cargo, I'm about to say cargo, in the interior space. And you do have the new wipers where the spray nozzle is on the wiper itself. It's not on the hood or hidden underneath the hood. You do have the wider camera for Honda Sensing. It's a amazing car just to look at. Now, because it's snowed, this one's a little bit more dirty. This is supposed to be gloss black on the side skirt here. So you see a little dirt on there, but it's very functional. You do have a, a curtain on the fender as well, too, that's functional. And it channel the air through this little, kind of like a little vortex going on on the side as well. Now, one thing I do love that the FL5 did, the wide body on the rear is not tacked on to the rear door. So they didn't get a, pe a normal rear door and tacked on a wide body onto the door to match the wide body of the front. The FK8 have it tacked on, and the Integra Type S also have a piece tacked onto the rear doors. This door is actually a different door than a normal Civic hatchback, so it matches with the quarter panel back here, which is wider as well. Around the whole window, blacked out, so gloss on the top and flat black down at the bottom. No moonroof, and this vehicle is from Japan. So all the Type R's are from Japan, so it comes with this protective film to help protect it. It comes on the hood as well too, and that gets removed when you buy your Type R and you know your car get cleaned up in detail and take delivery. But you have that little protector on there. The antenna is shark fin style and it is gloss black. 
coming along to the rear. Love the spoiler, it's not too much, but it's not like the Type S either. And there is an optional spoiler. spoiler you can get as carbon fiber and it's lighter as well. Actually, there's a package you can buy that comes with the lighter forged wheels with the lighter uh, spoiler to save you some weight for the track. You do have exposed nozzle up there to clean the back window and it do give you a rear spoiler. So you do have that and that's exposed. And you have the traditional tail lights from the normal Civic, but look how much meaner that looks from the rear. Your tail lights are a combination. So I believe your brake lights are LED, turn signals should be regular bulbs and reverse lights. I believe it's the regular bulbs. Type R stands right in the back, let you know. You don't have a regular Civic, you got a Type R. Red H let you know. You have a special Civic as well. Civic is blacked out. And you can see on the lower portion of the bumper, gloss black on your, your diffuser. The uh, three exhaust and Honda, I believe, actually changed the way how the three exhaust works. So, cause I believe on the FK8, I believe the middle one was small and the two on the outside was bigger. Or it's like this, can't even remember. We'll look when we look at the brochure. And the way how the spoiler is bolted on, you have the wing stands into the hatch and then the spoiler is bolted onto the wing stand. It's a nice addition, gloss black. And then you do have your reflectors back here. Overall rear, just a sight to see, to look at. Honda have changed their keys and the Type R also get the new key. So you have lock, you have unlock, you have to pop, well unlock the trunk and you have your panic button. You don't have any remote start on the Type R because this is a six speed manual transmission. Our manual transmissions does not come with remote start. Now the key is special because if you flip it over, you get a red H instead of a normal H. So that's how you know you have a Special car, special key. And then you do have a key fob built in as well so you can push the button to take that out. Now, since we have this key, you do have smart entry. So before I even go in there, let me show you guys a gas tank. Oh, it's locked. So you see how you can't open it. So you have to unlock the car. So if I put my hand in the door handle, it will unlock just the driver door, but it also unlocks your gas cap too. So the cap is fuel filler. And I believe this cap is just a different uh, cap than the normal Civic because it looks a little bit bigger because of the wide body. And you can see 91 recommended, 87 minimum. If Honda recommends 91, I'll put 91 in there. Some people will put 87, 88, anything below 91. But let me just go back to the door handle now. If you tap these three lines right here, it locks all of the doors. Put your hand back in there like I did earlier, unlock it. Now by default, it'll only unlock the driver door if you put your hand in the driver door. If you put your hand in the passenger door, it will unlock all four doors. Also, I forgot to mention, side mirrors, you have blind spot monitoring that is standard on the Type R, so on both side mirrors. But let's take a look on the interior, and we'll start with the door. So first thing to notice, black panel, everything is blacked out. You have one interior color, which is the red on the Type R. Up top, soft touch. You have this nice suede material down here on the door. Also, the FK8 didn't have ambient lighting on the door, so the FL5 will have ambient light lighting, and it's red, only one color. You can't change the color, but it looks nice at night. You have a nice uh, aluminum look door handle, but I believe it's just like plastic with a aluminum probably cover on it. The padding down here, very soft as well, red stitching. And you do have auto up down for the front windows only. You hold it for the rear, power locks, power mirrors. You do have some storage down in there in the door. A little bottle holder as well. Still got the plastic on the seats, but you can see these seats are ready to have a harness come through it for your track adventures. And they're a lot more bolstered. You can see my hand there. They're way more bolstered than a normal hatchback and a lot more bolstered than the SI as well. Even right here too, a lot more bolstered. The driver's seat is manual. So you have up and down. You, can get, you gotta pump it up and down up and down for your back, and then you pull the bar to adjust it forward and back. Same thing on the passenger side. No power seats available. The seat belts are red, which is a nice touch. Let you know you have a special car. And we're actually gonna get inside because it is cold today. I think it's like 30 degrees right now. But you know what? I will freeze for you guys to get these videos out. Close the door. Welcome to your Type R, and look at that. Imagine seeing that every time you get into your car. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Um, it is a manual transmission, like I mentioned before. 
I know some people don't even know what why the three pedals. Clutch, brake, gas, just in case you didn't know. So foot in clutch, and then it's push button start. So push the button, make sure I'm in neutral. Talk about the transmission in a second. Got this guy turned on. So first thing you're gonna notice on the left side, you have no gloss black around the vents. Usually that's what Honda does. Just so this nice like gray material, which I prefer this over the gloss black or the piano black, I believe is was officially called on the interior. You do have your dimmer switch here for your interior lighting. And if we go down lower, you have a shortcut to your safety features and your traction control on and off. And that's all you have on the left side. Now, Honda usually have a sea of buttons on the left side on the previous um, Civics. I think the FK8 will have the same thing. They move most of those buttons to the screen because you have a full digital 10 inch uh, driver screen now that's also customizable. The Sport Touring hatchback will also have the same screen. Anything below that will have the half digital, half analog, which Honda has been using in most of their vehicles. The steering wheel is leather wrap, and you can see it is red stitched as well. Feels good to the hand, not too thick, not too soft as well. My fingers are cold, so I probably can't even feel it right now, but take my word for it. Um, you do have some controls behind the steering wheel. So the left side is going to have off, auto, parking, and on for your headlights. You also have auto high beams on and off. The right side will have your wipers. So you have off, intermediate, and low, and high. Now, the Sport Touring will give you auto uh, rain sensing windshield wipers. You don't get it on the Type R. And you also have a uh, control for your rear wiper behind you as well. On the left side of the steering wheel, you have your some of your basic controls. So you have next track, previous, volume, voice command. If you hold it, it's uh, Siri or Google Assistance. And uh, you have your control wheel here that will control this left side over here. And here, you can switch it between Bluetooth, USB, satellite radio. So your audio sources, AM, FM, phone, basic goodies, even customize. Let's see what customize display. Oh yeah, so you can hide and show different apps and um, display content as well. So you can customize the left side how you want. Apps, I believe, is Apple CarPlay. Android Auto. Coming to the right side of the steering wheel, you have your cruise button here, cancel, resume, set, so that's traditional. You also have the distance for adaptive cruise control. So if you have your cruise control on and you turn on adaptive cruise control, you can adjust how much distance you want from the car that's in front of you. And even though this is a manual transmission, it will still slow down for you and keep that distance. Also, you have lane keep assist. So you turn this guy on, it will keep you centered, it will read your lane. It'll mean Jesus take the wheel, car drive by itself, but it's, all these features are made to assist you. Now back to this screen over here, you do have a scroll wheel, and this will control most of everything else. So you have your speedometer on the right side. Um, if you choose uh, anything over here, I believe, let me see, if I just leave it on, let's just go back. There you go, there you go, your tachometer. You have the end down below to remind you you're neutral. You have your outside temperature, so 38 degrees. I said 30 degrees, it's still cold outside. You have your engine temperature on the left side, you see these little dots right up above? That's your shift light, so you can um, know when to shift, which is built in, nice feature like that. I know that'll come in handy for the track. You have a digital speedometer right in the middle, and you still have your digital speedometer that's a needle on the right side too, so it's best of both worlds. You use the scroll wheel here, and we're able to go through range and fuel, so you can see how much miles you have. This is a full tank, this has 371 miles. You can see your average speed and your engine time. You can have a compass. If you put in a destination, it'll also give you turn by turn directions in that screen. You have your driver attention level. Are you awake enough to drive? Um, you have a turbo gauge, which normal hatchbacks won't have this gauge. Normal um, hatchbacks also won't have this. So you have your gas, so your acceleration and your braking. So you see how much braking you're using and how much acceleration as well. And going down, you have your G meter. And oh, skip one. This who have their seatbelts on. I'm being a bad noodle because I don't have my seatbelt on right now. Let me zoom in there a little bit more for you guys. So you have that guy. And you see how there's four people? Because the type bar is a four passenger, not a five passenger like the normal uh, hatchback. And I'll show you guys why when we get to the back seat. Oil life. And here you can turn on and off your safety features. Look how the picture of a type R in the middle. That's actually a nice touch. They didn't even have to do that. They could have put a regular Civic in there, but they put a, a type R. Um, you have your road departure on and off, blind spot on and off, colli collision mitigation on and off, and that's pretty much it. 
scroll down you have no content so it shows nothing in the middle gauge you can customize it so here you can hide and show and get rid of apps you don't want on the list or you can also go through your gauge design and change it to bar where everything is up and down so your tachometer is up and down and your speedometer is up and down and minimal will show the same thing just less information so if you do round minimal it's going to show a little bit less information than what would you have when you're on um, the regular one so i'm gonna put it back to round by default and we're gonna go back and just get out of this guy right here and then back to average so configurable gauge easy to use you have the boat scroll wheels decide on how you want to use it let me go back a little bit so i can show you guys the interior a little bit better the type r also will give you a bow sound system so it's a 12 speaker sound system you also get the same sound system in the sport touring hatchback or a regular touring civic but it's a nice touch that they threw it in their performance civic because you buy the type s if you want luxury and performance but if you want just aggressive track ready and don't really care about luxury that's why we have the type r some of these premium features honda really didn't even need to throw it in the car so coming along to your infotainment center here you still have the nine inch display that's in the sport touring hatchback and a touring sedan and this is also the same display that's in the type s as well easy to use if you're familiar with honda you're already familiar with the screen so you have physical buttons on the left side you have home back volume next previous track everything else is touch screen so these shortcuts down here all touch screen now one thing the type r does have that all the other civics don't have is honda log r and on the fk8 i believe you have to download this app to use it now honda has it uh standard like built in into this, the civic so this application is to lead improvement driving skills by knowing behavior the type r and pretty much what you'll do is you'll it'll teach you to drive better on the track this is actually a cool feature to throw in on uh, you can pause the video so you can see all the screens i'm not going to say and read all of these but it's actually a really cool uh, feature to have. So I believe this is just a regular page. Right now it'll show water temp, oil pressure. Um, when I start driving, it'll show oil temp, boost pressure, intake. Um, what is that? Oh, outside air temperature. Like, like this is actually pretty cool. And this is just a 3D of the, the Civic. If you do a G meter, you have a G meter in the middle. You also down here have auto score. So based on your your tracks and all your laps, it will give you your score and how well you're doing. You have data log where you can log and then you have different settings that you actually come in here and, and switch it up. Oh, you can change like the color. Oh, um, look at that. I'm gonna put it blue because we are in a boost blue type R. And then you have save auto score. I mean, I can't click it because I didn't save anything. And then you can start data log as well. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So, and it also will use a GPS on the, and, and like map out your track as well. It's just a nice feature you can use. There's different screens you can use. So you can see a Gmail from all four corners, which is cool. And swipe back over here. And then, was I already on this page? I don't think I was already on this page, but here you can see, it's reminding me of the GTR. It's actually pretty cool. We'll go to the next page and this screen is only showing when data logging. Okay, so a data logging screen. And then it's gonna give you points how well you're doing with acceleration, I think it's braking, cornering. I don't know what the, what the pink is. And your G meter, is what I'm assuming. So you can really go to the track and have fun with this thing. Like, and really, hey, there we go, the Boost Blue. And really get better at driving. Like, it's a very cool feature that they throw in there standard. Um, you know that the new Civics also have the new mesh grill. And this guy goes across the whole dash. And I'm glad it's not all in piano black. So you have some vents here you can control. These feel good to the hand and they click. Hazards there. I like the material that they use. This type bar is number 18,441. 18, Each type bar is number. It's not a limited car, but it is a low production car. So you can see that guy there. Climate control, like the regular Civic, pretty simple. So you have um, dual zone climate control. So driver, passenger can split their temperature, air circulation, modes, front defrost. Um, you have heated side mirrors, heated back glass, AC on and off, fan speed, easy to use. This is a 24. Honda is still using USB-A for the USBs. No USB-Cs at, at all up front. You have a power outlet there, wireless phone charger built in. It's also standard. You have the Type R shift knob. I love the transmission on the Type R. It's a very short throw, but still not too aggressive. The clutch is light 
easy to drive. This is something you could drive every day. You can daily this car. I wouldn't daily a Type R, but you can if you wanted to. Actually, let me go and clutch in and show you guys the throw. Like, it's not too long, like the normal um, fifth and then six, and it reverses all the way back down. And here, you do have a backup camera, no 360. This is like the normal Civic, so you have a wide angle, you have a normal, and you have top down as well. And you also have cross traffic. Easy throw, easy to use, feel good to the hand. It is cold out here in the shift knob, it's cold. I know summertime, this is gonna be hot as well. Now, you do have different drive modes for the Type R. So if you toggle this guy, you have sport, individual, and comfort. It'll also show you on here. Individual will allow you to customize the driving. So you can actually change the engine to, you know, sport, comfort, or plus R. Same thing with the steering, suspension, or oh, even the engine sound. That's cool. Okay, I'm sure that will make it a little bit louder. And then you can have rev match. Uh, Oh, so you can have, oh, comfort of sport, so you have more aggressive or regular, and the gauges. Okay, let's go and put back the sport. Keep it all default. But you have that, and then you have a dedicated plus R mode. So you push that guy, and that puts you in plus R mode. And one thing, actually, I'm going to show you guys what changes. You probably see it already. This whole gauge here is completely different. So we'll go back to the normal gauge. So you see how we have the, the two pods. If you push this guy... Then you have the different gauge as well too. So I had to take a quick break. A customer came in to take a look at it. But um, yeah, you put in the R plus mode, your whole gauge change. I love how this gauge looks. So you have the tachometer up top. You have all your, pretty much your information you need to know right in the middle. You have your Bluetooth here. So what music you're listening to. Speedometer is small because who cares how fast you're going. All we care about is shifting. And then you have your, that's cool, that's cool. You even have your gas mileage and stuff. Do you, can you even custom? Oh, yeah, you can change it. Okay, there we go. You use the wheel and you can actually change what you want there. So it's kind of like the pod that you had. You can customize it as well. So take out the plus R mode. You do have electronic parking brake as well instead of having a, a lever. And you do have brake hold. Cool feature. If you don't have to worry about rolling when you're in neutral, you can turn this feature on when your seatbelt is on. The, the car won't move until you get into gear. So if you're teaching someone how to drive manual, cool feature. But i rather old school way of learning how to drive manual and figure out where the engagements are and all that good stuff. But love the material they use here. It's flat and it's actually really nice. I'm glad. No piano black. You have your cup holder here. Soft touch on the armrest. Some storage in there. You do have a glove box. It's not lockable. It is damped. It's not lined with felt. Bin style. And then above your uh, infotainment center here, you do have your normal... Uh, rear uh, rear view mirror so no auto dimming or home link or anything like that like the sport touring it's a normal thing you probably can add an accessory we're going to look at the accessories in a second so i'll see you do have led lighting throughout the cabin okay it looks yellow on camera but it's actually like bright led check out the visor and you do have a regular it's not led this is a normal bolt but at least you have a glass and you have a light no moonroof up top tie bars don't come with moonroofs at all but it is black interior, and you do have a black headliner as well. I know Honda likes to throw in like a gray headliner or a beige or something like that, but normal. But yeah, and then the carpets. The carpets are all red. Kind of a heritage thing, because if you remember the EK9. Let me get out of here so I can show it to you guys. That's why we have the papers right here, so we don't want to step on the red carpet. But the EK9 had red carpet as well. And it's not even just the footwell. The whole carpet is actually red. So we're going to get into the rear rear seat and show you guys so this is how wide the rear door is open also you can see it's a two passenger back here the middle seat usually would have been for someone but instead they put a cup holder there and turned the type r into a four passenger red seat belt still for your rear passengers which i'm surprised red carpet back here as well which i won't step on no air vents or no usb uh usb a's or c's back here you can see no moon roof but that's the cockpit again as well and on the door it is hard hard touching i didn't expect it to be soft back here no ambient lighting back here either but soft suede on the door you get a tweeter speaker bottle holder back here as well but it's actually really nice back here and no foldable armrests or cup holders back here as well but you do have a handle to drop the seats so i'm going to show you guys the rear forged wheels they added a i think this is the car cover 
and they added the more premium uh, floor mats because the Type R's come with red floor mats. So, so these are the floor mats added that they prefer to have. But you can see back here, it's actually really nice. Have the cargo tray, no spare tire in this guy because it is a Type R, and you do have a cargo tray to cover all your goodies, and it's a two piece as well. And the seats fold down from back here, like I was telling you. Grab the handle, drop down. And I love that the Type R is a hatchback because it's still practical. You can convince your wife or convince your husband or your sniffing other, let's get this as a family car. You can still put stuff back here. Look how wide it opens. Really nice. One of my favorites for sure. Look at that, it's beeping at me saying, hey, the car's running, what are you doing, where are you going? We made it to the 2024 Honda Civic Type R trim walk. Um, a few things I forgot to mention where I was doing a walk around because it was getting really hectic. People were calling me, people wanted to see the car, and there was a lot going on. Um, I forgot to mention that the Type R does not come with heated seats. So those uh, bucket sport seats that it comes with, they're not heated. I believe the SI seats are not heated either. But the Type R comes in one trim level. There's no other trim levels. Type R is a Type R. Starting off with the engines, the two liter four cylinder turbocharged motor. Makes 315 horsepower and 310 foot pound of torque. The Type S, I believe, makes 320 horsepower. So five more horsepower on the Type S. Also, even though the Type S and Type R have the same motor, the Type S does have a better sounding exhaust. I wish that sound was on the Type R, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to say I'm going to do all this stuff. 6 b male transmission, no automatic. And it breaks my heart when I go through comments and people say, uh, wish that the Type R came in automatic. I'm just like, if you know Honda and just their heritage, that just it should not be automatic at all. So, got the Honda keeping in a manual transmission. So you do get a limited slip differential because it is front wheel drive. And for some reason, a lot of front wheel drive cars that make a lot of power have a lot of uh, what is it, a torque stair. And Honda figure out a way to get rid of that in this, especially making 300. And 15 horsepower and being turboed. So shout to Honda for that. You get a lightweight flywheel, lightweight, lightweight, lightweight flywheel, electronic parking brake, um, water cooled oil cooler. A few things that you get that you don't get on a normal Civic. The four piston brim bolts. I forgot to mention that. Um, you get a two piece front brake disc. I forgot to mention that as well. The 19s, um, tire repair kit. So I didn't lift up, cause there was too many stuff in the cargo, but I didn't lift up the floor, but I need the floor to be a flat fix kit. You won't get a spare tire. And Honda Sensing, you get all of these standard as well, which is cool. And uh, more Honda Sensing goodies. So your safety features, your airbags, your safety. Cause at the end of the day, even though this car is built for the track and for the street, it's still very safe and practical car. That's what I love about it. Aluminum hood. So save some weight there. Um, gloss black goodies. LED goodies, which one start. Um, oh, I didn't mention the walkway. So it has a walkway auto lock. So you can set it where if you walk away from the Type R, it'll automatically lock the door when you're walking away. You get a 10.2 digital instrument cluster that I mentioned as well. And aluminum shift knob, sport pedals. It's just a nice package. Got to actually go deeper into the infotainment system. So navigation is built in. The wireless Apple CarPlay, you have the wireless Android Auto. I need to show the um, you have Wi Fi hotspot built in on the Civic as well because none of the Civics have that feature, um, besides the Type R, which is cool. I don't even think the SI, the SI probably gets, I don't, I don't even remember, but yeah, you get the red floor mats, rev limiter, it has um, auto uh, rev matching too when you're downshifting. I forgot to mention that as well. So it's a lot of stuff that Type R come with, which is really nice. So we're gonna go in and actually build one. So you go all the way down to the bottom. You have Honda Civic Type R. There's a 24. Now I'm gonna start off with gas mileage, just in case anyone's curious. I like how they have a race car driver in the picture here. Look at he's using log R and everything. But you're looking at 22 city, 28 highway, which is not bad for a car that makes 350 horsepower and it's turbocharged and the hatchback as well. So high flow turbo, electric wastegate, interesting. Um, I think uh, direct fuel injection. Okay, all that good stuff. So it's be manual only, thank God. Look at the colors. So you have crystal black pearl. You have rally red. I don't think I've seen a rally red type R in person. 
Could be yeah, I don't think I've received one yet. Um boost bo uh boost blue pearl and there is a charge for the color. So Honda will charge you 455 more. Championship white, which is a heritage color. Love this. Um 455 more and Sonic Gray 455 455 more. And remember, red interior is the only interior color. And that's the stock wheels. So as I know I'm showing you the upgraded wheels you can get. These are the stock 19s, which is not that bad. Um, I like both of them, but I prefer the forge wheels. So get your forge wheels right here so you can add them. Now for the wheels themselves, they are 3100, but installation and um, like uh, labor and all that stuff is different per dealership. So you may, your price is gonna be different, whatever you look at it. But um, I believe, how much does it say? So yeah, it says 5.29 pounds, which is OEM. And if you're someone that bring your car to the track, every pound matters. So that's cool that they do that. Dark gray metallic, laser etch logo. Brandon, okay. Love the wheels, one of my favorites for the packages. So you do have an R package essential and it comes with a cargo cover, cargo. Oh, I think that's actually, that's what's on this package that's on this car. So it comes with the cargo cover, cargo tray and the contoured high wall carpet floor mat. So those walls that you, you saw, I showed you they look like they were a little bit bent. They're not bent. They are just high wall. So they're built to trap in more dirt and stuff like that. So the package you can add on there. Um, you have the interior driver's package, which comes with illuminated door sills, shift knob, the leather wrap shift knob, and the Alcantara steering wheel. So I did do a walk around on the 23. And the 23, it wasn't the walk around there on this channel. It was before the channel was made. I did a walk around on my main channel. It had this driver's package on there, which was really nice. I like the Alcantara steering wheel. And then you have the R performance package. So this, so this is the lightweight package I was telling you about. So you get the carbon fiber spoiler with the alloy wheels. And I believe the wing spoiler will save you like three pounds or something like that. And the wheels save you about five pounds. So there's a few packages you can add on here. And then a protection film, which is gonna put the little clear plastic over um, the door handle, you have the door edge guard, you have the rear bumper applique and to resisting from yellowing. So yeah, so you can dress up your type bar and let's go to accessories. So you still can add a uh, crossbar or so roof rack to your type bar. There's a car cargo cover, there's a car cover and door visors, a kayak, look at that, all that stuff. But you can add the roof rack, which is cool. You can add all types of stuff from there, type bar, uh, valve stems. So here's the uh, carbon fiber wing and it's in it's red, which is nice. Oh, but I told you I said three pounds. No, it save you almost two pounds if you get the spoiler. But yeah, uh, uh aerodynamic, create downforce, our rotation, so red fiber. Um, a lot of people actually put on a more aggressive track spoiler, but if you're someone that's lightly gonna track the car. It's good that it comes with a spoiler. All right, so looking at the interior now, so you have all season floor mats, which I highly recommend because if you're gonna daily this car, your red interior is gonna be, it's gonna be dirty. You're gonna get that thing dirty. So all season floor mats, you have a cargo net you can add in there, cargo tray, which I highly recommend. You got the big type R emblem on there. Oh, why do you even look on this one? Cause it has some of the stuff in the trunk. So I just like lifting things up. That looks nice. I like that with the big type R in there. Um, you have the, the dividers for your cargo tray so you can, you know, put groceries on one side or whatever. So these are uh, contoured high wall carpet floor mats. That's what this vehicle have. Even though the Type R comes with the red floor mats, these are shaped exactly for your footwell. And you see how it's a little bit more higher to help protect that red. This is a nice um, floor mat to really get. I probably... No, I probably get the... I don't know because the all-season is not as high. So I probably will want these over the all-seasons. Or whatever. So you can have the door sill trim. It should have said, does it say type R? Why is it Civic? Oh yeah, they're showing it will say type R. This one is a why are they showing a Civic Sport as the example? But yeah, it says illuminates the type R logo. I was about to say. What would they <laughs> what would they even do something like that? Um the window shades for your kiddos or for your rear passengers, seat back protectors, the leather shift knob you can get, the all contemporary steering wheel, which is really nice electronics so you cannot get a auto dimming rear view mirror 
So keep that in mind and no home link either. You can't add a home link either. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to go back and let's look at the design. Make sure I pick boost blue and we're going to go to summary. So base price on the type bar is 44,795. You don't pay for manual transmission. Boost blue pearl will add 455 to it. And destination handling is 1095. So you're looking at 46,345. Now, Pricing will vary because I know these cars are very hard to get your hands on and dealerships are not getting 20 of them, 30 or 40 of them per year. They're getting low quantities, depending on the store. I think some stores will get more than other stores. If you're like a smaller Honda dealership, you're barely going to get Type R's. But there's a huge chance that there's going to be a markup on the car. You have to pay to play with these cars. Same thing with the Type S. Um, I've heard stories that some people find them for MSRP. Some people find them for below MSRP. Some people have to pay 10 over, 5 over, 20 over, 30 over. Um, pricing is going to be very selective. So if you're shopping for one and you want one for MSRP, you better call every single dealership you can. Um, but from the dealership standpoint, you know, you can buy this car for MSRP as a consumer and resell it for more and just make money off of it. So some dealerships will mark up the car to try to help people buying it just to resell it. But it's a, it's a whole mess with pricing and how the, the market has been and the world and shortage and, you know, COVID. And yeah, so I see a lot of people complain about the pricing on these. And to be honest, special cars like these nowadays are only for people that have the money. If you don't have the money and you can barely afford the $46,000, you're probably not going to get a Type R and you should probably rethink your money, my, my opinion. But um, yeah, I'm very selective with the whole, whole pricing thing. So Type R's will come with a Honda Service Pass, which is two-year complimentary maintenance plan, free oil changes, high rotation, multi-point inspection, and oil filters for two years or 24,000 miles, which comes standard with it. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Um, do you guys have any questions? Drop a comment below. Um, anything that I've missed? I think I did miss a few things because I did have to wrap it up in the end. So I kind of rushed it a little bit. You know, usually I'm a little bit more detailed. But it is what it is. I have to jump on this before these cars are gone. Um, it's just very difficult to get your hand on one of these or to even see one. So if I get one, I'm doing it. I'm not going to wash the car. Nothing. I'm just going to do it. So it is what it is. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you have one? Did you buy one? Um, do you don't like it? Do you prefer the FK8? I will take an FL5 over FK8 any day. I love this design. I love this interior. I, I just can't do an FK8. I'm sorry. Um, like they updated ambient lighting too. I wish it was different colors. It's just red, but yeah, you have it on the door. You have it in foot wells, and I think that's it. And you have it on the door too. It looks so nice at night. I just wish it was more red. It should have added more red on there. But yeah, drop a comment below. Tell me guys what you think. Um, I'm in everything here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next walk around. Mm -hmm.